So, we've been on our RV road trip around the country for about eight months, and we've been loving each new adventure along the way. This is the story of when we went to Yellowstone. We drove from Grand Tetons to Yellowstone, and our first stop was to go see Old Faithful. We're running right now to Old Faithful because it was supposed to go off about a minute or two ago, and hopefully we can see it or we have to wait another 90 minutes. Ah! We made it just in time. But we weren't the only ones there. We explored around the park and saw a bunch of springs and geysers along the way. Geyser. Geyser? Geyser. And another geyser. The sea of geysers. Spring. 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 Springs that bubble. And another spring. Full. Full. Keep off. Yummy. But the one thing that we couldn't find was a fumarole. <laughs> then finally... A fumarole. Well, it's pronounced fumarole. But we kept saying a firmer all. It you literally says a firmer all. <laughs> I told you I wasn't making it up. Oh. We also saw the Grand Geyser, which is the largest predictable geyser in the world. But it's not as popular as Old Faithful because it only goes off every 7 to 15 hours. So I wanted to wait. M wanted to wait a couple minutes to see if it go off. And I said there's no way that we're going to get that lucky that it's going to go off in the next couple minutes. So we decided to keep heading down the path. But then, and it just went off. We just waited five minutes. That is the tallest predictable geyser going off right now. This was just another reminder to always listen to my wife. We also saw a cool multicolored pool called the Morning Glory. Made it to Morning Glory. Then we jumped on our bikes to head to another multicolored spring called the Grand Prismatic. We saw it up close and from far away. We made it to the top, and it was definitely worth the short hike. Then we headed out of the park for the rest of the night. Last night we pulled into a spot that some people suggested to us when we were in Grand Tetons, and we got kicked out. But the police officer was really nice and told us about this spot. So this is the life of an RVer living on the side of the road, and each night <laughs> trying to figure out where we're going to sleep. So the next morning, on our way back into the park, we ran into a lot of traffic. Headed into Yellowstone from the west entrance today, we have been sitting in this traffic for the past probably 15-20 minutes. Turns out that the reason for the traffic... Wait, there's no traffic anymore? That was it. Oh my goodness. For elk. It was because of two elk. We parked the RV and headed out on our motorcycles, but not before feeling like celebrities with our own paparazzi. We just had a funny experience. We were getting the motorcycles <laughs> down and there was like a tour group and they all stopped. As we were taking our bikes off, they just were staring at us. And then they started taking pictures. I'm like, this is they, the like, paparazzi. They like discreetly went over to the other side of the road and then I could see them like taking out their phones and cameras and taking <laughs> pictures like, of us just so taking our bikes down. We rode to Hayden Valley to see the largest herd of free roaming bison. And we definitely saw some bison. Lots and lots of bison. They weren't joking about Hayden Valley. Look at this, there's bison right there. It felt a little intimidating being so close to a 1,400 pound bison on a 280 pound bike. While we were there, we decided to pull off on the side of the road to get some pictures. Then from behind us, a bison started running up the side of the road right towards us. Okay, let's get a move on. <laughs> He's coming at me. was having some trouble getting back up on the road, so being the good husband that I am, I left her to fend for herself. From Hayden Valley, we went to the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, saw some really pretty waterfalls, took some pictures, and now I have a new lock screen for my phone. Lastly, we stopped by Mammoth Hot Springs, then headed over to Boiling River, where hot water meets cold, to end our amazing time in America's first national park. 